Okay, so we're back um, after the disastrous maidens. Um, second time I flew this plane after landing in the tree over there. Um, one of the wings came off in flight. The carbon spar was damaged in the first crash. I flew it stupidly, uh, it snapped off in midair, and uh, I lost the wings. So um, what I've done is uh, I've uh, I've beefed everything up really. So. I've replaced these wing connectors and um, I've beefed them up so they're a bit stronger and I've also made these 3D printed um, carbon spar reinforcement plates um, that go across the wings because this uh, wings on this plane, the, uh, the foam uh, underneath the wings, underneath the carbon spar is very, very thin. So hopefully that will give you a bit more protection. In terms of keeping the wings on, I don't know whether you're going to be able to see this on the camera, but I've actually um, inserted into these, these wing covers here um, some 3D plates with uh, bonded in 3M nuts and I've, I've got some thumb screws in there, I um, hope you can see that, um, that are holding the wings on front and back and this thing is, oh, it's really rigid now, so if it crashes now it's just going to blow apart um, because those wings are never going to come off and of course I've replaced the, uh, the carbon spar. So. Uh, Third time lucky as they say, let's uh, see if we can get this thing up. It is quite windy today so um, I'm going to have to be careful but um, it's not unduly windy. Probably get quite a bit of wobble in flight but uh, let's give this thing a launch. Oh, I'll also be able to launch it hopefully like my AR wing now. Now the wings are so rigid I can I can launch it this way and maybe that'll give me a bit of a better launch. Well, we'll see. Let's give it a try and see how we get on. Okay, let's uh, give this thing a try with a, a side throw. See how that works out. Come on, baby. Do your thing. Yeah, launch is great. Okay, it's gone into loiter. Wow, forgot how good the view was. Loitering nicely. Take control. Right, I've got pitch at zero, roll at zero on P. I've got eight on the I gain. So let's see how this flies. I'm gonna give it an auto tune and an auto trim. Attitude mode. We'll auto trim it first. bring it into land and then we'll put it back up again and do an auto tune Maybe I'm going to have a problem with this antenna. Okay, let's put it back up again and do an auto tune now. I've done an auto trip. See if it changes my P values. Um, my values are zero. I've got zero P and eight on I gain for both pitch and roll. So let's see what it does.
didn't release it really cleanly that time. A bit of a wobble, but still not a bad launch. And the only thing about the DJI system is it doesn't record the OSD. I've got quite a lot of OSD elements now. Uh, Right, let's, let's take it out of loiter and uh, we'll auto tune it. Maybe we need to put those rates up a tad. lumpy on the rolls. A bit of altitude and we'll power loop. Quite happy on 5S. Okay, so auto tune results don't look brilliant because it's put seven on P on pitch and 16 on the I gain, so something not quite right with the plane roll four on P and it's not changed the eye gain it's left it on eight the eye gain on pitch seems to be a little bit high and the rolls don't seem to be super smooth but it doesn't fly terrible it just compared to my other planes that fly so nicely needs a bit of work as I thought it was going to be. Maybe I'll try the uh, seven inch prop. See how warm the end motor is. I'll just give it some, let's give it full throttle on the way back. See uh, how fast it goes. And also, okay, let's punch it. Hundred and fifty five kilometers an hour. Not that fast. Dart 250G goes faster than that. But you don't get the view that I'm getting now on analog. Okay, we've got the plane plugged into INF configurator. So look at those pid tuning. Okay. So put a little bit of P on. Auto tune. Put a little bit of eye gain on the integral, but not 16. Put it at 10. See how it flies. And then on roll on P, let's put the six in. Pitch on P, put the four in that it had, and integral stayed at eight. Okay. Save that. Let's have a look at the rates and the expo. So 250 degrees per second on roll. I 
think I need to take that up a little bit. So take up to 290. Pitch. I think that was okay. 150. Roll and pitch expo at 50. Drop that down a bit. Put 30 expo in. Maximum roll rate and manu manual roll rate and pitch rate 100%. Okay, that's what I want. Alright. Let's give that a try now. See how we get on. Okay, so I've done a little bit more tuning with the laptop. Uh, decided to put the uh, Dal Cyclone 7056 tri blade on. The motor didn't really get warm with that 6x6, so I'm just interested to see how this is going to go. Um, keep my eye on the amp drawer, it should be okay. Right, let's get this thing back in the air. definitely made a big difference that prop went straight up sounded a bit more like my AI wing okay so seven inch prop motor barely warm at all so that's a good sign and it's not pulling too many amps and it's not getting warm so I think we can safely run it on a seven inch prop uh, I've got another seven inch prop with me actually what have I got An APC, 7x6, 7x5, 6, 7x6. What if it's worth a try? Yeah, we'll give that a try. Okay, so I've only got three 1800 mile LiPos, 5F, but I have got three 1500s. So I've just put, uh, to get the CG right, 20 grams of extra nose weight on there. And I've also gone to the APC 7x6 prop. Uh, just to give this a try. So let's see how this goes. <laughs> goes up nicely. Ah, oh, the DJI system in the wrong mode. Maybe it'll be a bit better now. Oh yeah, it's much better now. Now the FPV camera mount that I made was a little bit weak and it's broken off so I've got a little bit of tape on it so I might get a little bit more vibration than usual. Yeah, I can go much further now without break up. Oh, these batteries don't last long. does on this prop in terms of speed. Hundred and eighty five, that's a bit better.
bring it in, put another lipo on, and then we'll just do a few flybys, and then we'll go and get a beer for celebration. It's a nightmare this plane on the maidens, but what we've ended up with is, well, it's okay. Yeah, so it's brilliant. It doesn't fly like my AR wing or Dart XL or 250G, but it's fun just to fly it with these goggles. That's what I built it for. Okay, so to sum up uh, the Sonic model CF wing, a uh, bit of a tricky start getting it in the air, now it's in the air, it's getting a bit better. A uh, few issues, camera mount at the front that's broken, PLA, very brittle, need to beef that up a bit. The early unit slides forward a little bit, so I need to make a better mount for that. I don't want to I think that was some of the problems I was having with the reception, so we need to figure that out. Uh, the, uh, the carbon spar reinforcement worked great. This thing is really stiff. Um, and the 7x6 prop looks to be the prop of choice. The motor doesn't get hot and it performs the best. So I'll be staying with that prop for now. And uh, yeah, you can hear the, uh, the camera mount, it's loose tape on the front of it just to hold it all together but all in all uh, for 30 dollars that i got it for on black friday it's been a lot of fun and uh, i think i'll enjoy flying it in the future just got to get it tuned a bit better and uh, have some more fun with it that's it guys thanks for watching uh it's definitely time for a beer now for sure